What's up, collective? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass plants. Now, collective. You hear that snoring in the background? That's your person. Now, please keep in mind, this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. All right? Now, for somebody out there, your person is sleeping on you. And oh, they snore. Here's someone that's from another city or another state. You could be traveling. Um, something could be going on somewhere at a distance from you. Now, this could be something, I feel like it could be some sort of opportunity that's in another place and your person is sleeping on you. Okay. So what's going on in this other place that the person is sleeping on for like this? Some of you, there could be a storm. Now, this could be a literal storm. Some of you may live where it's storming right now. Um, someone that you could be talking to in another country, another state, another city. They could literally be going through a storm where it's actually either a hurricane, lightning, um, tornadoes, something. Okay. Or they could be going through a mental storm. You could be going through a mental storm. You could be going through a mental storm and this person is sleeping on you. So that means if you're going through something and this person is not paying you no attention to what you're trying to tell them what's going on with you. You could have been trying to tell this person that they've been, you know, having you anchored down in a situation. Somebody is thinking about you. Now, when I see these, these thoughts, this don't look like no thoughts that some positive thoughts. This look like either he could be trying to paint a picture of somebody in his mind. He, he, you may have ghosted him while he was sleeping. You could have got up and left while he was sleeping on you. Now he's thinking about you. And he's having karma right now. We have a child out here. So somebody from another city or another state or another country is thinking about you collectively. They could be trying to figure out this is this is somebody's child's father. Trying to figure out their snake. Yeah, this is your child's father. This person has multiple partners. This person has people in other cities or other states. That's the storm that they're going through. Okay. They have multiple lovers. This could be somebody's child father. Here's a gift. You could be gifted. You just don't, it's like somebody don't have the strength to deal with either a child or your child's parent. That is anchoring you down. So, for some of you, this is a snake that's snoring. This snake is biting towards a gift of yours. Now, this snake can be biting far as 
Um, some money wise, you may have some money. This snake could be a uh, um, spiritual assassin that was coming, that comes to take away your gift, revoke your privileges with your gifts that you have. This is someone who was sent to you. Okay. This person is getting double karma. Or they received double karma on a Saturday. In February. Okay. Double karma. And they sleeping on it. They don't know. Somebody is from Arizona. Okay, so show me the energies around whatever is going on in another city or another state. What's going on in another city or another state for the collective? Holy Spirit. And I'm asking you to protect me as I do this reading for the collective. And protect us from any demonic attachments that may try to come out of this reading. Um, any demonic energies. We ask for protection. Okay, thank you in advance. So show me what is the energy surrounding Someone could be taking a trip. They could be in a storm, going on a trip in a storm. Now the snake is out here twice. And this is spell work. Okay. This could be someone doing some dark magic. Towards a gift that's supposed to be for you or coming to you or you are the gift. Okay. So it's a snake in another city or another state. This person is going through a storm and they're having karma. They're having karma. They're getting karma. Shit, karma is probably their middle name now. Because see, when you tried to tell this person about karma and, and the things that they was doing, they didn't listen. They were sleeping on you. You see how the motherfucker snore? He was sleeping when you tried to warn him. Okay, what else did the what else did the collective try to tell this person? Something about something in another city or another state. I gotta move these other cards. Because I am on a little bitty table right here. We have laughing my ass off. I'm not going to turn on a laugh. Spell work. So divine feminine, divine masculine. You laughing because you done moved. You laughing your ass off because you done moved. They spell work ain't working. They wanted you to be losing money, but you're not. They spell work ain't working. So this person was trying to, this snake was trying to do um, financial spells on you. Mm -hmm. This is the devil in disguise. And this could be somebody you was in love with. Mm, somebody you was married to. They did some sort of spell work towards your money because they wanted you to need them. Now they're getting karma. That's the heart of the energy. They could be in another city or state and you, you don't know where they are, but they're getting karma. And again, some of you, this could be your child's father. Your child could be 18 years old now, 16 or 18 or 17, 15, 16, 17, 18. It's all out here. Okay. Secret phone. Stability. Paying for readings. This person is a devil in disguise. And because you've moved, they laugh you laughing at their ass though, right? They could have had a secret phone while they was in a marriage with you. This could be why you moved. And once you moved, you took your stability with you. Okay? And now this person is, is, they're paying for readings. 
if they doing some sort of spell work and, and it ain't working, um, they trying to do some shit against your money. And we're going to rebuke that spirit and send it back to hell and return to sender. All the spell work that someone is trying to send to me in the collective, we send it back with fiery draws on back to hell where it comes from. We return it to sender. We rebuke that spirit in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Send it back. Satan, you have no power here. None. And whoever sending it, we return to sender. Okay? And we thank you, Archangel Michael and the Holy Spirit, for protection. Somebody is from Cambodia. This could be the other city or the other state. Cambodia. Somebody is confronting the situation in Cambodia. A cult family throwing evil eye in Cambodia. Okay? So for some of you, this could be somebody from Cambodia. This is the other city or state, country. But this, this looks like a, uh, a watch. Somebody could be watching someone, throwing the evil eye. Somebody from Cambodia. Okay. What is the confronting the situation? So for some of you, this is, you could be laughing. At this snake. This snake could be from cult, from um, Cambodia. They could be a cult family that's throwing some sort of evil eye at you. They don't like you. Could have found the secret phone. About somebody dealing with somebody in, in Cambodia. And you confronted the situation. In September. Some of you is January. He's sleeping on you. He's sleeping while you woke. Mm -hmm. Somebody is stupid. Somebody is stupid. This Cole family is stupid for throwing evil eye at you. Okay. So tell me more. Is it any more? Um, what's other cities or states that is significant to this reading? Holy Spirit. What are some more significant states? Some more places that's significant to this reading and this cult family that's going evil eye in the spell work. It's going in reverse and collective. You're laughing at this shit. You're laughing because their their spell work ain't working. And your person is sleeping on the fact that somebody from Cambodia. Now, it may not be Cambodia. It can be any other country. But Cambodia, somebody is from Cambodia. Okay. My neighbors are Cambodian. Death and endings. California. Okay. A painful ending. So... It could be a, a co-family in California. Um, this this could it's a painful ending. So this is it's like somebody broke up with somebody. Now they got their family all mad, and the family is throwing the evil eye at you because you and this person have broke up and because you didn't move. So if this weird stuff happening to you, feeling like things breaking down, all that, that's this cult family talking about you. They're sending energetic, vocal, energetic attacks. Evil eye. Okay. You may be living, you may live in in California, and this person may be from Cal Cambodia, or they could be from Cambodia and you from California, or vice versa. Okay, but the lovers came in reverse out here. Yeah. So this this is a family. Um, a cult family, they're throwing evil eye because somebody broke up. Mm -hmm. Somebody broke up and they woke up. Woke up and they broke up. It was a painful ending. Death and endings. Uh, 
Okay. <coughs> Lovers in reverse. And this is a she-devil. Okay. And there's a devil in disguise. A she-devil in disguise. Somebody confronted a situation. Could have been a divorce or something. A painful ending with the paperwork out here. Something could have happened in September. I'm having a hot flash. Let me open this door for a minute. Ooh, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta find something to do. When you're really having a hot flash, I really just need a, a glass of ice water and that instantly cools you off. But I don't have no ice water in this room. And my Slurpee then. Yeah, this person is sleeping on you. They're sleeping on the fact that you done woke up. They still sleeping and you woke. Now, again, this could be your energy. This could be somebody you're dealing with. This could be somebody that your person may be dealing with that you may be unaware of. This could be a family member. Okay? This person is stupid. Confirmation. And... While, while the, the phone is alerting me, I'm asking everyone, if you have it in your heart, to send a donation to me. Um, it's, just, it's just too, it'll take too much time for me to explain. Now, if you want to know what I'm going through, check out, I only have, I only went live twice on this channel. So you check out the video of the police coming, um, where I'm saying they called the police on me. My brother basically, um, he sold my father's house right up under my nose, and he was telling me that I didn't have to leave, and it ain't this, and this and that, and next thing I know, the police knocking on the door. So I'm asking everyone to donate to me. Um, I'm unemployed right now. I had a stroke and I haven't been able to go back to work. And I'm doing these readings. So I'm asking everyone to whatever you have to donate to my channel. Don't send the super thanks because then I have to wait to the end of the month. And I have to pay for this room every night. And a, a room in my city the cheapest room is $100 a night. So if I'm paying $100 a night for 30 days, how much does that add up to? And we got motherfuckers around here looking down on others because they think they paying something because they paying rent $2,000. They think they the shit. Motherfucker, I'm paying $3,000 3, a month. $3,000 a month. And my, my shit is in storage. I'm having to pay for that. So I'm asking everybody to please help me. Donate to me. I'm not giving you all this good laughs and all that. But, okay. But anyway. <clears throat> this person is asleep and looking stupid. Because they still dealing with their exes. Exes. <clears throat> exes. That's what this snake does. You see? See all of those apples in the tree? Those are the exes. That's the temptation. Your person targets these people. Now, if you can't see this, and this is not for everybody, 
that if you can't see this and you kind of feel like your person is stepping out, then I suggest that you get yourself a uh, amethyst. An amethyst. Excuse me. And get you a clear. Excuse me. You see me just drink that. It's giving me the hiccups. A clear uh, quartz opal, white opal, for clarity in the situation. Okay, because somebody may want 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 you to be stupid, or they may think you stupid. Okay, this person could also be always telling you to shut the fuck up. Okay, and this could have been part of the painful ending. You could have found the secret phone that somebody was dealing with somebody. In a whole nother state or a whole nother country. Okay? They could be dealing with somebody in California. Or you could be California from California. Or you can be from Cambodia. Okay? But somebody is going through a storm. Somebody wanted somebody to be anchored down in a situation. Somebody is under spiritual attack. Somebody tried to put someone else in a competition. And now they're going through a storm. And they were sleeping on you. So I'm going to stop right there. Peace.